In this video, I'm going to look at how to name esters. I'm going to do this one slightly differently to the others because esters are notoriously difficult to name or students find them quite confusing to name. So hopefully, by the end of the worked example, this will make perfect sense. So we'll just talk through the functional group first of all. We've got a C double bond O and a single bond O. You can see that in the skeletal formula here. So we've got an O8 part, so that's this part here. And we've also got an alkyl part in the name, and that's the bit after the single bonded O. So let's just identify the O8 part first. So we've got one, two, three, four carbons in the O8 part. So that's butano 8 and in the alkyl part, the bit after the single bonded O, we've got one carbon, so we've got a methyl group. So if you look at the, the lowercase writing, the alkyl part is the prefix, so that means the start of the name. So this ester will start with methyl, and it'll its suffix, it will end with 1, 2, 3, 4, butanoate. So this ester is called methyl butanoate. So there's three for you to try by yourself and then we'll go through the answers. So possibly a good idea to, to use in the exam is to maybe split the molecule in half. So what have we got? We've got the O8, the bit bonded to the C double bond O is the O8 part, one, two, three. So this is propano 8 and the bit after the single bonded O, one, two, ethyl. Remember, prefix, so this, this is the prefix, this is the first part of the name. So this will be ethyl and the suffix, one, two, three, propano 8. So this ester is called ethyl propano 8. We'll do the same for the next one, so we'll just do that little dotted line. So we've got just one carbon in this bit, so this is a methanoate group. And then how many carbons in the alkyl part? One, two, three. So this will be called propyl methanoate. And just to sort of make it a little bit more difficult for you, I've flipped the ester around. So we've got, we've still got an ester, obviously this is the C double bond O, single bond O, but if we just apply this trick, hopefully it'll make it easy for you. So this is the O8 part, so this is one, two carbons long, so it'd be ethanoate, and then the alkyl part is how long? One, two, three, four, five. So that's going to be called pentyl ethanoate. 